and the winner of the $75,000 2012 Gordon E. Moore Award in the category of Medicine and Health Sciences I did not think I was even going to win a single award, but I, it's just unbelievable. I cannot believe this is happening to me. This means so much. This was my childhood dream. I, I was like, I always want to go into ISAF, and I would look through those magazines at those people staring up into the sky majestically, and I'm just like, oh, if only I could be there one day. And now I am. I'm just so thrilled. It has been applied only for this particular biomarker or for other biomarkers? This is the very first time that this method, I actually thought up of this method entirely on my own. I have pen, patented the entire method. Uh -huh. And which lab did you do this in? Dr. Maitra's lab of Johns Hopkins oh. University. But I did think of it all on my own. And we're leaving, so you're going to stop by. Three, zero, two, I'm Jackie Andreka, I'm from Crownsville, Maryland, and I'm 15, I'm a freshman. So basically what I've done here is I've created a paper sensor that can detect a wide array of diseases, and some notable examples are pancreatic cancer, ovarian cancer, and lung cancer. And all these are life-threatening diseases, and it's really crucial to detect them in their early stages where survival rates are at their highest. And I focused specifically on pancreatic cancer in this case because due to its extremely low um, survival rates. So what I did is I created this paper sensor and it basically has single walled carbon nanotubes which are atom thick tubes of carbon mixed with antibodies to this one cancer biomarker called mesothelin. And antibody is basically a molecule that binds specifically to one mo other molecule. So what happens is when I compared it to the current gold standard of protein detection called ELISA, it was actually 168 times faster over 26,000 times less expensive and over 400 times more sensitive. And what I found is that my sensor in a blind study, it actually had 100% correct diagnosis in diagnosing pancreatic cancer and could diagnose the cancer before it actually became invasive. I did not expect for it to be this good at detecting pancreatic cancer antibodies and stuff. So I was blown away by how sensitive it was. I actually got into this kind of work because my uncle, he died due to pancreatic cancer and metastasized, and I got interested in early diagnosis. And I found that blood tests were the only practical way to actually detect it in routine screenings. So then I got interested in mesothelial, and I actually love single-walled carbon nanotubes. They're like the superheroes of material science. And so then I was just thinking how I could apply them here, and it came to me one day in biology class. I am incredibly excited. It's like the Olympics of science there. It's just amazing to be here, even if I don't get a prize.